tests now. Normally I would do, I've been doing my uh, one, one of my worlds, yeah, sort of uh, my world or Arcadia with the Team Tuxedo people uh, and these sort of things. And that's been causing some scheduling problems for me, to be totally honest. It's been very hard for me to do several hours worth of live stream and do the uh, the let's plays as well so i'm going to experiment with something this evening it's going to be something new um what i'm going to do is i'm going to play agrarian skies which is a a, a modded minecraft single player map which might be fun might not and uh um but it's got a questing element to it you've got to you've got to perform a number of actions in order to get to the end of the game so uh i think it might be fun but uh Let's play it for a little bit and see where we go, shall we? And uh, just start this up here. Uh, see where we go with this. Right, this is the one. <laughs> okay, it helps if I load the right game, really, doesn't it? Okay, this is Agrarian Skies. And this is... Um, we are basically... This is our world at the moment, okay? So we are stuck here out in the, uh, the middle of nothing. Quite literally nothing. And... We have this rather horrible looking house and we have one block of earth. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, we have these eight blocks of earth. Let's put one back. And we have the contents of a chest. Which has got a few bits and pieces in it, including some saplings. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some saplings, just grow a tree. Oh, sun's almost setting. And let's grow a tree there. Excellent. And let's get this cut down. Then we've got some wood to start doing. No, I didn't know the turret chest was there. I've never dug up that piece of earth before. I only started playing this game... Um, today and I only played it for about 20 minutes just to make sure it worked correctly so I know how to uh, access the quest book and things like that but that's basically the my limit of the game uh, right so it's getting dark and mobs can appear over here so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that for now and just one sec sorry about that okay um, so we've got a tree we're going to hopefully drop some saplings there soon and this is a good time to look at the quest book I would say which it has been a go. horrible 10 years code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world not satisfied with just destroying the human life the monsters rampaged across the world, eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Vizwi, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The great trio cast their spell to protect you, while the magician way of flowing time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the jaded one and the cute one, have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless to repopulate the planet to this end the jaded one has compiled a list mm. of the many items and fluids that will be needed this book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement to start punch tree get wood 
Okay, that's the last time that someone else is doing narration on my channel. It has been a horror. No, 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 no. All right, thank you. Right. So, we have quests. And I think the place we should probably start is learning to skyblock. Okay, so our first quest here is using the book. We need to craft a wooden plank. And our rewards are an apple and a pick of splintered dreams. The book is a new invention from VSWE, Scott Weirs and Lord Dusk. You may be wondering how to use this book, on the off chance that you have no idea what you're doing. This very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, if you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous page menu. The quest is if the quest is dark, it is locked, and you will need you will ned you will ned to complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. In the first menu of this book, you will notice several numbered blah de blah. Okay, that's enough of that. Right, so we need to um, make a plank, which is fairly easy to do. But before we go down there, let's just pick up some saplings, plant another one. Because Ned demands much wood. That sounded wrong, didn't it? Uh, okay, so, right. Go in here, block that up, and let's make ourselves some planks of wood. In fact, we might as well do all of those. And then we can go back into the quest book. And... <laughs> yes, I was thinking the same thing, Chris. Hey, ladies, do you want to help me repopulate the world? Hmm. Right, so we've got one of one wood planks. We can claim the reward. And we get a wonderful plinky sound. And we now have a pickaxe and an apple, just in case we're a bit peckish. So let's move on and let's have a look at the next quest. Right, so we can do the librarian, which requires us to make a book binder. And manual completion. Okay, let's do this one. So this time we need to make another oak wood plank. But we need to manually submit it. So we do that, we claim the reward. And we get more plinky. And we go on to QDS, quest delivery system. So this time we actually need to do the quest delivery system. Uh, we actually have to, to use the quest delivery system in order to uh, finish the game. So what we do is we go into the book and we select the quest we want to uh, open like that. So we, we oh, go on, wrong one. We select the quest, we select, select task and then we right click on the quest delivery system. Now what we need to do now a um, bit late to the game. Hello. Uh, what we need to do now is uh, actually get the item in there, which we can use this hopper that they've quite conveniently provided for us. So we'll put the hopper on the item, and then we put a plank of wood in the hopper. That funnels it through into the quest delivery system, and we are done. So if we go back in here, 100%, but there's another step to it. So we need to manually submit the hopper. So let's go and grab that. Like that. And manual submits. That goes to 100%. We can claim the reward. Is Mercy happy with her sword? Yes, she's very happy with her sword. And we were all very happy with her sword when she used the, the mighty sword pink to kill Mod. I really wish I'd have managed to record that. Right, okay, so we are left with a full heart, which gives us another life. There's lives in this game. If we die three times, it's game over, man. And a reward bag, which gives us two netherfish. Okay, there's... Uh, might be useful later on absolutely no use to us whatsoever at the moment so 
Let's pop those away. We don't need that book. And let's go on to the next quest quickly. All right, so we've done that. We now have killed the zombies. We've got to kill three zombies to get that reward. And now we're on to in the beginning, uh, which we need to create a crafting station, a chest, part builder, tool station, stencil table, oak barrel, and crook. Uh, so let's start off by creating ourselves a craft bench. And if I remember right, if you put that back in, you get a crafting station. And crafting stations are interesting because they work with um chests nearby and things like that they're they're just a bit more flexible so we'll put that down and we'll create a chest okay so we'll put that chest down and now we need to make the other items which were well i remember a crook and a rain barrel so let's do those and i don't think we actually have enough stuff for any of those uh, crook is like that, if I remember right. So yeah, that's a crook. Now we need to go and get some more wood. Fortunately, we have a tree out here. Is anyone there? Nope. Okay. Come on. Oh damn you! Thank you. Right. Got to remember to use the crook to do the leaves because it gives you a better chance of getting saplings off them. But. Uh, we shall fell this tree with our mighty apple. Yes. Yeah, so I, I was actually quite disappointed, really, because um, I did the, played this prank on mod, and it was loads of fun. But it was basically four hours of me running around in circles with chicken eggs, throwing them at walls. Uh, so just didn't see the point of recording it, to be totally honest with you. Right, so... Oh, that's giving us silkworms. Excellent. We will need those fairly soon. But in the meantime, let's get this tree all growed up. That's good. And get another load of wood. Yes! It's um a funny tool. The crook is used for dealing with trees, and there's other uses for it that we will find out. <sighs> it's a different sort of weapon, Chris, okay? Um, the crook is, you know, it's it's a blunt weapon, whereas the, um, the herring has a nasty edge to it that will take your eye out if you're not careful. So, we'll get this done. We'll plant another tree. And then we'll go and use this wood to uh, do a bit more of that quest. Right, that's given us. Well, that's given us a few more saplings. That's good. Look, planting a few more trees in a minute. But uh, for now, chuck that there. And let's go and make some bits and pieces for this. So we get some. Let's get some wood to start off with now. Uh, I can't remember the, the stuff to make, so let's have a quick look again. We need to make ourselves a part builder, a tool station, a stencil table, and an oak barrel. Right, so... Part. That's a part builder. And we use that by making a blank pattern and putting it on top of wood. So how do we make a blank pattern? Wood, wood, stick, stick. So let's do that quickly. Probably going to need a few of those. So let's make a, a few of those to start off with. And get that out there. Put that in there. One, one of those and one of those makes a parts a stencil table right uh i built the wrong thing here haven't i but i think i needed a stencil table anyway part builder 
Ah, that needs wood, not planks. Okay. Right. Um, tool station. That's another one. Tool. And that is made. What's that? A tool rack. Oh, interesting. And that's by baking a crafting table and a blank pattern. Okay, well, we can do that. So we'll have a crafting table like that and a blank pattern on top there. Makes a tool station, an oak barrel. I've looked this one up earlier on. It's like this. There we go. In fact, let's make another one of those. Nope, we won't because we don't have enough wood. Let's go and get some more wood. Right, let's go and grow and fear the mighty apple, which cuts you asunder. There is a, a fantastic mod which we we're, um, we're probably going to be using fairly soon in one of the worlds I play on, which just allows you to cut a tree down in one go. You're not messing around like this, cutting the logs individually. And I personally am so looking forward to that. Oh, that's dead. Right, let's plant another tree there. We'll probably be coming back to that in a minute. And... Just block that off so nothing sneaks in behind us and explodes. Right, so we did a part builder. Now we just need a part builder. Okay, so let's make a part builder. Uh, okay, I remember that one now. That's a, a blank statal. And a log like that. So we now have a part builder. And we might as well put those down. Oh, we're going to have a look at that later on, possibly. Right, let's put some of this stuff down. Like that. And I think what we'll do here is we'll take advantage of the second form of some of these tables. And just cut the legs off. And then we can put those... One there, one there, there we go, that's perfect. Okay, now let's go and get that quest turned in. And we shall... Mm. Pan of Destiny or Axe of Despair? It is the Timber mod, yes. Do you know what? I think we're going to have the Pan of Destiny. Right, so that's given us a quarter of a heart, which is an extra life, a reward bag, and the Pan of Destiny. Um, these are Tinkerer's Mods items, so... Um, these are... I'm really actually quite enjoying this stuff. Uh, okay, this, this... The Pick of Splintered Dreams can only be used on, on, on mining things up to the level of stone. So clay we can mine with it, stone we can mine with it, but uh, if we try going for iron or anything like that, it will break. Um, we can repair it with wood, which I need to work out how to do later on. I haven't actually tried that yet. And it's made out of that stuff, okay? A, a wooden pickaxe head, a, a nether rack tool rod, and a thormic, thormium binding. And to be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea what that stuff is yet, but we will find out. 16 swirling glass. Okay, not much use at the moment. Let's put it in the chest and move on. The Pan of Destiny, yes. So we've done that one, and now we're on to Smooth as Silk. String is a very string is the gateway to all resources. Fishing rods will provide food. Sieves are used to sift dirt, gravel, and sand and dust to obtain stone ores and other resources. To get the string, you will need to break leaves with your crook until you receive a silkworm. Right-click a leaf block with a newly grown tree and the, uh, on, on, a, on a newly grown tree with a silkworm, 
walk away when all the leaves on the tree have turned white break them with a crook to get string and more silkworms when you have extra silkworms you can cook them for food so right we need to make an oak sieve a fishing rod a wooden hammer and a bed but the obvious thing here is we need to make trees oh another apple excellent and we need to put uh, silkworms on them so let's grow this one up like that and just get out if we can there we go All right and let's put a silkworm on there uh, like that and I think what I want to do is grow another couple of trees and it seems like a good opportunity to actually start leveling this place out a little bit so we use the uh, the pick to take the top level of clay off here and we'll actually expand the world out that way a little bit Eek! I was not expecting a hole there. Alright, so there is a tree capacitor. Not entirely certain what that word was meant to be. Some mods are abs some mods are absolutely fantastic, and I I've got to be honest with you. I've been playing vanilla an awful lot recently, and. Uh, it's nice to switch between the two, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, to be totally honest with you. I'm just going to have um, a modded series that uh, I'm just going to play during the live streams, and a partially modded series that I'm going to be playing with Team Succedo, and my world will remain vanilla. And hopefully everyone will be happy. Alright, so... Oh, that's... Is dying fast isn't it that pickaxe I think we're going to have to repair that soon but let's go back and have a quick look at the tree yep and if you look here the leaves are turning white so we'll leave that to infect it a bit more and in the meantime let's actually create a bit of uh, a planting environment here so We go out here. I think we'll go out. Yeah, one more. There we go. Like that. We'll have a bit of earth there. And let's get one more layer of clay. It's getting dark, so I want to get inside because the last thing I want to do is be in this position when a creeper explodes next to me. So let's get this done as quickly as we can. So we'll put some earth there and we'll put a tree there. Bone wheel this up as quick as we can, like that, and then we'll put another silkworm on that. And when the sun comes up, we'll make another one over there. Oh, doesn't that look wriggly? Ooh. Right, so get in. Put some earth down like that. In fact, to be totally honest with you, um, to be totally honest with you, let's let's just let's just make a door. Let's just make a door. I mean, this this is just silly. Okay, so like that. There we go. We got the wood there. This is 164, so we only make the one door like that, but quite frankly, that's all we really need at this point. So, stick a door there, open the door up. Now relatively safe, and... Let's get... Uh, a pressure plate there. Yeah, so it's easier for us to get out. Okay, so... We aren't doing too badly at the moment. Um, let's get a few blank patterns out here. Let's, what can we do with the stencil table? Alright, so we can make a tool rod pattern. Next pattern is a pickaxe head, uh, a shovel head, an axe head. We can't make um, a lot of tools the way that we do in vanilla wine for Minecraft. So this is how we are going to be making our tools 